Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to see that if you are using Bheem UPI application for all of your transaction and we are going to take a look at what are the features do we get in terms of transaction in Bheem UPI application and what are the methods of payment, uh, what you can do via UPI uh, in this particular application. So I'm going to guide you through all the steps, all the features so that you don't have to uh, go on my channel and you have to search a particular video for a particular feature. So I'm going to explain all the features related to transaction in this particular video over here. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and without wasting any time, let's start the video. So to use Beam application and to take a look at all the features, you have to open the application first. So once you open the application, it will ask you to enter four digit passcode. So you have to enter the passcode and you have to sign in. So once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. So uh, the very first thing on the home screen is that uh, at the top, you will be able to check out your bank account. So you will be able to check out your default bank account. So if you have added multiple bank account in Beam application, and if you have selected any particular uh, default account or primary account, then that particular bank account will be shown over here. Apart from that, uh, you will be able to check out your UPI ID below that. So you can check this is the UPI ID and you do get multiple option on the home screen itself. So you do have an option of uh, send money. You can directly scan a QR code and do payment from here. At the bottom, you will be able to check option like home profile and transaction. So if you want to check your transaction history, you can check from here. If you want to check out your profile details, then you can select profile icon over here. And in bill payment section, you can check out there are multiple uh, options like you have mobile recharge option, uh, postpaid option. Uh, if you want to pay your electricity bill, then you have that option. Apart from that, you have also an option to recharge your fast track, which is for vehicles. So you can do it from here. And if I click on see all option on the next page, you can check out. There are multiple options over here for bill payment and recharge. So you have broadband uh, recharge option, cable TV recharge option. If you have any club association, that option, credit card bill payment option, DTH recharge option, educational fees option, electricity bill option, fast tag. And if I scroll down, you can see there are much more option over here. So you can select any particular option. And for example, if you want to pay your electricity bill, uh, but from the next time, as soon as you open this option, you want your account to be directly, uh, you know, shown over there. So if you go in my bill section, in my bill section, you can check out an option that to add a particular biller in saved list. Uh, all you have to do is you have to select add my biller during payment. So whenever you are doing a first time payment for electricity bill at the time of payment, you will get an option of add my billers add to my biller. So if you save that option, uh, you can, you will be able to check out that option from the next time over here. So yeah, you have multiple options for bill payments and also you have an option to uh, approve payment. So if anyone has, uh, you know, money requested you, you will be able to check out in this part, which is approved to pay and you will be uh, able to check out your pending transaction. So now let's take a look at the very first thing, which is how can you add multiple bank accounts? So the bank is visible at the top. You just have to select that. And we are on the main page on this page. You will be able to check out all the banks, which you have linked in the application. So currently you can see only one bank is linked to add another account. You have to select plus icon, which is at the bottom. And as soon as I select that icon, you will be uh, you will be getting a list of uh, multiple banks over here. So, for example, if I want to add my another bank account, which is of Indescent Bank in search bar, I will type Indescent and it is showing me. So I will select that particular bank over there. And after selecting that, it will show me my bank details. So we have to verify that. And once it is verified, you have to click over here and all you have to do is you have to click on confirm. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, make your secondary bank account as your default account, you do have an option over here to make default account. So you can just uh, tick mark this uh, box over here. But if you keep your previous account as your primary, you can just keep it as it is. So you have to click on yes in confirm option and then you can check out the secondary bank account has been added. So now you can see uh, at the start of the video, it was Kotak Bank and my Kotak Bank is the default account. So if I want to change my default account, all I have to do is I have to click on that next bank. And in that you have an option of make default account. So I will click on that and I will click on yes. 
and now you can see indecent bank account is my default account now so this is the type uh, by which you can simply change or this is the method by simply which you can change your default or primary bank account now if you want to check balance in bank account you have a, a particular option over here of check balance below each bank so if you want to check out the balance you can simply click on check balance over there and it will ask you to enter six digit upi pin all you have to do is you have to enter the pin so i will do that very quickly after entering the pin you have to click on tick mark sign and now it will so yeah it is asking me for feedbacks for for that so now you can check out the account balance over here now let's take a look at what options we get in particular bank account so in terms of transactions so if i select a particular bank you do have an option of send money directly from here you have an option of send to self so send to self uh, option is for those people who want to transfer money from one account to another account in their own account i'm talking about self transfer so if you want to transfer uh, your amount from one particular bank to other particular bank then this is option is for you so if i select that option you can check uh, to which account you want to transfer currently uh my account is selected over here so if i want to transfer my amount from indusin bank to kotak bank so in two option in two account option i will select kotak bank so now you can see the account number is changed and from which account you want the amount to be debited so in from account you want to select that account so obviously indusin bank will be there you can select a particular bank uh, amount or the amount over here which you want to transfer and once it is done you can simply click on send and after clicking on send you will see you are on the next page in this page you have to enter six digit upi pin and then the amount will be transferred so yeah this is the simple step how you can use send to self option now let's take a look at forgot upi pin option now this option is for those people who don't remember their upi pin but still they want to change it so all you can do is you can click on forgot upi pin and over here you have to enter your card details so those people who don't remember their upi pin you have to select forgot upi option and you will be able to change your upi pin through uh, card details now you have to enter the card details over here and once you enter the details you have to simply click on tick mark and on the next page it will ask you to enter otp and then you can set your new pin and you can change it so i have already made a video on forgot upi pin and change upi pin multiple times so i think you might know or you might find on my channel so now let's take a look at change upi pin option now this particular option over here is for those people who remember their current upi pin but still they want to change it so you guys can select change upi pin so i will uh, select that option now you can see it is asking me to enter six digit old upi pin so i will enter that old pin over here and i will show you after entering the pin you have to click on tick mark now you can see the option is changed to enter six digit new upi pin so this is the same procedure which we will get in forgot pin as well after entering the card details so i think you have got an idea how it might be so you can enter the new pin over here and you can simply click on tick mark and once again you have to re enter so i'll just show you an example so i have entered a new pin i will click on tick mark over here and once again we are on the next page so you have to reconfirm or re enter your new pin and then you have to click on tick mark and your new pin will be generated so these steps are common for uh, forgot pin option as well as for change upi pin option the only difference is that in forgot pin you can uh, change the pin via uh, debit card or details and in change pin option you can simply change your new uh, upi pin through current upi pin so if you remember your current upi pin you can select change upi pin option now you have an option of remove over here so if you want to remove that account but currently you can see it is not highlighted so i won't be able to remove because this is my current default account so if i close this and if i open kotak option over here so now you can see i have an option of remove over here so if i want to remove a particular bank account i can simply click on remove and the account will be removed from there so these are the basic steps and uh, i think you have got an idea till now how you can check out your upi id how you can make your uh, bank account default or primary account and how you can change your upi pin and how you can check out your balance so now let's take a look at uh, more features which is send option no if i click on send option you will be able to see uh, already an account is there in favorites option and you have an option of contact and account plus ifsc so in favorites option you will be able to check out your beneficiary account which you have already added so i will uh, show you later how you can add a beneficiary account 
so these are the categories by which you can simply uh, select these categories and transfer the money so in favorites you will be able to see your beneficiary account in contacts you will be able to see your contacts so you have to give permission for that so i don't use this uh, uh, much so as you can know and in account plus ifsc if you want to transfer an amount to a particular person uh, through bank details you can select account plus ifsc and you have to select that particular bank over here so for example let me show you so after selecting the bank all you have to do is you have to enter the ifsc uh, code over here as you can see bank ifsc then you have to enter the name of that person and you have to enter his account number and you have to confirm the account number and you have to verify so to enter bank details let's take another bank after selecting the bank you have to enter the ifsc code over here so i will enter that i have entered the ifsc code after entering the ifsc code you can just simply enter the name so i am just showing my account details only uh, just to verify or just to give you an example how you can transfer bank uh, through bank so in account number you obviously have to enter the account number in confirm account number you have to re-enter the account number and once it is confirmed you have to click on verify and once it is verified we are on the next page and on this page you have to enter the amount if you want to add any message or something with the transaction you can add it in remark section and then you can simply transfer the amount so these are the simple steps uh, for example if i uh, just put an amount over here and I, if i just type test over here and if i click on confirm so it will show all the details once again and then you have to simply click on send option and on the next page you have to enter six digit upi pin and the transaction will be completed so these are the steps you have to follow if you want to transfer an amount to another person through account details so you have to select account plus ifsc option now if you want to do scan payment what you have to do is you have to select scan option over here if i select scan option now you can see you have this particular box over here in which you have to scan the qr code and after scanning the qr code rest of the steps are same you have to enter the amount and you have to enter the upi pin to complete the transaction now if you want to generate a qr code with a particular amount so for example if you are supposed to collect 100 rupees from your friend or your friend is supposed to transfer you 100 rupees in simple ways he can directly enter the amount from his account and he can uh, send the money to you but if you just want uh, to know how you can generate a qr code with amount then you have to simply click on this three dash over here and after that you have to click on generate qr code and in generate qr code you can simply enter the amount so, so for example uh, if your friend is supposed to transfer you thousand rupees so you have to enter thousand and this is for testing purpose so i am writing test over there you just have to enter the amount and you have to click on generate qr code at the bottom now this is the qr code so this is the qr code if you scan this qr code automatically thousand rupees will be shown on your screen so you don't have to enter the amount manually if anyone has created as a qr code with the particular amount over there so yeah that is for the qr code now if you want to request money through upi id then you can simply click on request money option over here and in that you can enter the upi id so i will enter any upi id after entering the upi id you have to click on verify option over here and once it is verified now you can see uh details or the name of the person has uh, shown here uh of whom i have entered the upi id so this is my upi id only so it is showing my name now if you want to generate a money request through upi id you have to select a money request option you have to enter the upi id so for example if you want uh you know if you want to request money uh, from your friend you can enter his upi id and you can verify on the next page you can simply enter the amount which you want to request from him and in remark once again i will type uh, test and you have to click on request to complete the request so now the request has been generated so the upi id which i entered was my own upi id of uh, phone pay account so i have already re uh, received a request on phone pay so yeah this is the simple way by, uh, simple way by which you can simply create a money request through upi id so let's go to home now now if you want to check any other details uh, related to your profile you can simply go on profile over here and after going on profile you can once again uh, check out your qr code 
So this is the QR code. If you want to directly, uh, you know, if you want to show this QR code to any of your friend or family member to make the payment, you can show this QR code. But this is not amount generated QR code. They will scan this QR code and they have to enter the amount manually. So yeah, even if you want to share this QR code, you have an option of share. And if you want to download the QR code, you have an option. And also you can check out your UPI ID on this as well. So yeah, nothing much in profile. And if I scroll sideways, if you want to add new UPI ID, you can simply add from here. Now, yeah, if you scroll down, you have an option of favorites over here. So if you want to add beneficiary account, as I told you, I will show you later. So if you want to add beneficiary account, all you have to do is you have to click on profile uh, page will appear. You have to scroll down and you have to select favorite option over here. And in favorite option, you have two options, UPI ID and account plus IFSC. So you can either add favorites using UPI ID or else you can use account plus IFSC. Now, if you want to add a particular person using the account details, so now you can see currently I have added my own account in beneficiary account. So you have an option of add account plus IFSC. So you have to select that. You have to select that particular bank. So for example, if I'm adding an account number of my family member only uh, to whom I am doing a transaction each and every week or each and every time, but each and every time I want, I have to enter the details manually. So I don't want to do that. So simply I can do is I can select beneficiary favorites option and I can select his bank and I can add that person. So let's add my interesting account over here. You have to select the bank. And now you can see account details are here. So these are the same steps which we saw in transfer money option. So all you have to do is you have to enter all these details. You have to enter the IFSC code. You have to enter person's name, account number, and you have to confirm the account number. And then you have to simply click on verify and then you can add that person in your favorite. So that person will be shown over here as it is showing right now. So yeah, that was regarding beneficiary account. Now. If we click on three dash, there are again multiple options over here. If you want to change language, you have that option. Generate Q uh, QR code we have seen. If you want to raise complaint, you have a, that option as well. So gift, FAQ, send feedback about us and settings option as well. So let's take a look at setting option. Now in settings option, if you want to deregister Bheem uh, account, you have that option. In, uh, so you can simply click on deregister over there. And if you want to enable biometric or if you want to enable fingerprint uh, login in Bheem UPI, so you can simply turn this toggle on and it will ask you to enter the passcode. So we'll enter the passcode. So now you can see confirm biometrics is on the screen right now. So it will take the same fingerprint uh, sensor or the same fingerprint which you use to unlock your device. So as soon as I placed my finger on the scanner, as you can see, it is automatically unlocked. So yeah, this is the basic thing. This is the basic features related to uh, Bheem UPI option. I think you have got an idea how you can check out your UPI ID, bank account, how you can change your default primary account, how you can delete the bank account, how you can change UPI pin, how you can send money uh, through account and through QR code, how you can generate money request, also how you can generate a QR code with particular amount over here. So these are the simple steps. These are the simple features related to transaction in Bheem UPI option. Also, there are multiple options for bill payments uh, as you saw and nothing much more than that. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.